Hey everyone, Kyle Jason back with another video. If you guys are new to the channel, I'll be doing videos on diversity and tech on Mondays, beginner tutorials and resources on Wednesdays, as well as a bonus video sometime over the weekend. So in today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about a simple three-step design process for beginners. So the first step when you wanna get into a very basic design process is pen and paper. So you're gonna to wanna to do two things here. You're gonna to wanna to make a brief outline of what you're doing. So since I'm talking to specifically to beginners right now, essentially you're not really going to have an interaction with a client, so this is just for something like a portfolio piece or a weekend project. Essentially what you wanna do is jot down what you want out of the project, what types of constraints you might be dealing with depending on if you're designing for different devices and things like that. You're also gonna to wanna to jot down any inspiration that you had for this project. Also, if you're so inclined, you could write down an action plan of what parts of the design you wanna tackle first, as well as who are the example users. Even though you might be working on something that's just a portfolio piece or a weekend project where you might not really have any users, or it might just be some mock-ups for your portfolio or something like that, you still want to imagine and get used to thinking about the users in terms of when you're crafting out the initial ideas for your design. The main purpose of this outline is to organize your thoughts before you start wireframing out your layouts. Once you get more advanced and start taking clients, this kind of outline is the basis on what you're going to do when you start forming a formal design brief or design document that you would give while discussing with your clients their wants and needs before you start working on their project. So the second portion of the first step, which is starting out on the drawing board, is to wireframe. And to wireframe, I like to use a composition notebook um, or a dot grid notebook. And the reason why I like to use a dot grid or a composition notebook is because the squares in the grid allows me to space things out evenly. Um, I can easily do math in terms of if I want a sidebar that's one third of the width of its container and things like that. It makes designing a wireframe and drawing out a wireframe that much easier for you. So step number two in a beginner's simple design process would be taking those wireframes and those outlines and starting to flesh them out in a design tool. My design tool of choice is Sketch, but a lot of people also use things like Adobe Fireworks, Adobe Photoshop, as well as Adobe Illustrator to bring life into those wireframes and give color, texture in those programs. So the third step in the beginner simple design process is gonna vary if you're going to be just finishing up and polishing up that mock-up as a design, or if you're going to actually take that design and implement it in a site or app, mobile application or what have you. But essentially this third step is getting feedback. Now I understand a lot of beginning designers might not have clients and things like that. Like I said, you might be working on this as a weekend project or a portfolio project, but you can still get feedback. What you do is have one of your peers or friends that you're learning design alongside look at the design. Now, if you're walking them through it and at any moments they have some sort of hesitation or maybe some suggestions or some unclear things, take notes. Take notes on everything, the negative, the positive, all the feedback that you're getting. The importance of this feedback process or this feedback step is to get information because the main purpose of design is to communicate clear ideas and that serve a purpose. So if there's any friction or hesitation with that communication, you're gonna to wanna to get some immediate feedback and then go back to steps one and two and just iterate. You're gonna to wanna to change things and just make sure that the communication of the idea that you're trying to present with your design is clear as well as it sticks to very good design fundamentals. I'm gonna be doing an entirely other video on the crap fundamentals of design, but very brief, those are contrast, repetition, alignment, and proximity. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on a very simple beginner's design process. If you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe and stick around for these. I'm gonna be doing some more advanced process videos as well as showing you guys a glimpse of my process personally. Like and share if you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.